Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is special functions. So two main topics which falls under this special functions are one is the legenders, one is the legenders polynomial functions, polynomial functions and the other one is Bessel's functions okay so these are the two functions which comes under the topic special functions in this learning video and in the upcoming learning videos we are going to discuss about the legendus polynomial function okay so legendus polynomial functions are for the legendus equations okay now before we start with the Legenders uh, differential equation, I am going to let you know the wonderful application of spatial functions, namely the wonderful applications of Legenders polynomial. So it is widely used in the determination of wave function of electron in the orbits of an atom. Another application is in nuclear reactor physics, Legenders polynomial have an extraordinary importance. Okay, now let us start with Legenders Differential Equation. Legenders Differential Equation. So, what is Legender Differential Equation? A differential equation, a differential equation of the form differential equation of the form 1 minus x square into y double dash minus 2xy dash plus n into n plus 1 into y is equal to 0 where what is n? n is constant where n is any constant this equation is called as Legendre's differential equation is known as is known as Legendre's Legendre's differential equation okay now as this is an differential equation it must have a solution so solution of this Legendre's differential equation one of its solution is given by Pn of x is equal to 1, 3, 5 into 2n minus 1 upon 2 upon n factorial into x to the power n minus n into n minus 1 upon 2 into 2n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 2 plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 upon 2 into 4 into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 3 into x to the power n minus 4 and so on this is one of its solution of this differential equation namely the Legendre differential equation and the solution which we got for this Legendre differential equation is denoted by PNX and what is this PNX? This PNX is known as Legendre's polynomial. This is called this is called Legendre's Legendre's polynomial Legendre's polynomial of degree n. Okay, Legendre's polynomial of degree n. Now, the most important thing that you need to remember in this uh, topic is the generating function. The next thing is generating function. So, let us see the generating function. The function, the function 
in the left hand side of one upon under root one minus two x h plus h square is equal to summation n equal to zero to infinity p zero x sorry p n of x into h to the power n is called as is called as generating function is called as generating function for legendary polynomial p n x so in this unit we are going to make use of this generating function throughout okay now while dealing with the problems now when we deal with the example we need some of the results and one of the results i will write it as a remark or you can write it as a note also okay and this result that i am going to write is very familiar with you because you might have used this result in the lower classes so 1 minus u power minus 1 what is minus into minus plus so what you get 1 plus u plus u square plus u cube plus u to the power n plus n so on okay this result if you are interested in its expansion how one can get it expansion you can apply the binomial theorem to get this result okay this result we are going to make use of while solving the example so so let us take an example to work out with before i start with the solution let me made one remark this example is a very patent example of many examination because the results that we have in this problem are used in the other examples as well and in the properties okay so let us see this example now how many results we have to prove in this 1 2 and 3 okay and what we have we have only the generating function and the formula that we have written as a note okay so for the time being we just know that we know that the generating function and what is that generating function that generating function is summation n equal to 0 to infinity pn of x into h to the power n is equal to under root of so i will write it as 1 minus 2 xh plus h square power minus 1 by 2 and say this is to be my equation number a okay now look at the first result what we want we want pn of 1 and what we have pn of x so what would be your next step your next step is put x is equal to 1 so put x is equal to 1 in equation a we get what we get we get summation n is equal to 0 to infinity p n of x is 1 into h to the power n also in the right hand side 1 minus x is 1 so this is 2 h plus h square power minus 1 by 2 okay now this is like a square minus twice ab plus b square so this is nothing but 1 minus h whole square and its power minus half okay so square and this square root get cancel and we remain with 1 minus h power minus 1 okay this is summation n equal to 0 to infinity p n of 1 into h to the power n okay now make use of the result that we have made as a note so this is like 1 minus u power minus 1 so what is 1 minus u power minus 1 minus minus plus and i will write it as 1 plus 
h plus h square plus and so on plus h to the power n and so on and what we have in the left hand side in the left hand side we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity p n of 1 into h to the power n what we want in the left hand side we want p n of 1 so what is p n of 1 p n of 1 is a coefficient of h to the power n okay so what we need to do in the next step we just have to equate so you can write on equating on equating the coefficient on equating the coefficient of h to the power n from both sides from both sides we get what we get h to the power n coefficient of h to the power n from left is p n of 1 and coefficient of h to the power n from right hand side is nothing means this is 1 so in this way we have a result p n of 1 is equal to 1 that is what the first result we want now to get the second result see the second result what we want to prove p n of minus x is equal to minus 1 to the power n p n of x okay so we have the result p n of x h to the power n is this generating function so what we need to do we just need to replace x by minus x and in the right hand side we have minus 1 to the power n so what we have to replace replace h by minus h okay so for the second result I will write replace replace x by minus x in equation a in equation a we get what we get we get summation n is equal to 0 to infinity p n of minus x into h to the power n is equal to 1 minus 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 plus 2 x h plus h square power minus 1 by 2 ok now replace now replace h by minus h in equation a we get what we get summation n equal to 0 to infinity p n of x into what is h in place of h i will write h to the power n is equal to 1 minus minus become plus 2 x h plus h square power minus 1 by 2 okay now looking at these two equations you just look at the right hand side right hand sides are same this implies left hand sides are also same so this implies summation n equal to 0 to infinity p n of minus x into h to the power n is same as summation n equal to 0 to infinity p n of x into this is minus h to the power n so i can write this one as minus 1 to the power n into h to the power n okay now what we want from the result we want p n of minus x what is p n of minus x p n of minus x is a coefficient of h to the power n so what we need to do we just need to equate the coefficient of h to the power n from both sides so on equating on equating the coefficient on equating the coefficient of h to the power n from both sides we get what we get p n of minus x is equal to minus 1 to the power n into p n of x and that is the second result we wanted to prove isn't it easy 
so if you go step by step and nicely you will get the result very nicely and understand the things okay now we are done with the first and second result now see the third result pn of minus 1 is minus 1 to the power n and let me say this equation to be equation number b okay now as you all are smart student and i know you can able to get the third result so can you able to get the third result yes so what we need to find out we need to find out pn of minus 1 is minus 1 to the power n so for that what we have to do we just have to put the value of x as what value of x will be putting minus 1 or plus 1 if you put it minus 1 so minus minus will become plus and we are getting pn of 1 that is we have already found out but what we want pn of minus 1 so put x is equal to 1 in equation b we get what we get p n of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power n into p n of 1 but what is this p n of 1 but p n of 1 is equal to 1 kaha se ye this is from the first result p n of 1 is 1 so this implies p n of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power n and this is the result that we wanted to deduce from the given two results okay so i hope this video lecture will be helpful to you and thank you for watching this learning video